Travia Chapman, I want to say congratulations on receiving the HBCU Empowerment Award. When you think about HBCUs, and I'm really excited about interviewing you because you went to my alma mater, the Tennessee State University. But what does mm -hmm. it mean to you when you hear the words historically black colleges and universities? When I think about historically black colleges and universities, I think about culture. I think about um, history. I think about black excellence and all those that um, came before me that did not have the opportunity to go to the schools um, that those may have thought as elite, you know, however many years ago, and how African Americans came together to create a path for education for us. And it is really rich with so much history, and it makes me proud to be a graduate of an HBCU. And for those students out there, high school seniors who are contemplating going to an HBCU, I mean, I know that you recommend Tennessee State University the most, but what's your advice to them about why HBCUs are so important and also why they should go to one? So when I think about the HBCU experience, I honestly have to say that it's really that family connection, it's that family affair. And it's part of that grooming and that preparation, again, for that real world experience. So I would tell um, a, a graduating high school senior, listen, you are still learning, you're growing, you're grooming, and you're coming into your own. I think one of the best places to do that is a place that gets you, understands you, embraces you to help you along your journey into adulthood. And of course, I would always recommend Tennessee State University because that was what TSU was for me. It was part of that foundation, that Black excellence that allowed me to continue um, to reach my goals and ultimately embrace who I am as a Black woman. And Trevia, for your time at Tennessee State University, what made those years so special for you? I honestly believe that uh, what really made those years special was that opportunity to come into my own. Um, it was that family experience. It was those college professors that didn't treat us like another number, but were truly committed to our success that really leaned in hard to make sure that when we left and we walked across that stage and went out into the world that we were ready. And that love and that embrace is what really made that HBCU experience one of the best for me.